We're good. I just wanted to make sure the microphone wasn't going to fall over. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Oh. Welcome to the War of the Magi. I hope you... Hope you guys are ready to fucking, fucking kick it old school again. You renamed the stream, right? Yes. Let me reload it. There Excuse we go. Excuse me. Okay. I just want to make sure you renamed it properly. So I've never played this game, so this is a blind... This is a blind watch for her. I'm playing. I've played this game a few Yeah, times. he's played this game a billion times, so he's never shut up about this game. He's very excited about and this game. And I know game. she's never going to play it, so we're doing it on stream. Well... I mean, so let me give you. Let me just. Do you just want to. Let me give you a, a rundown of what what we're dealing with in terms of plot here. Okay. So basically, thick like my ass. Um, kinda. So, um, magic was like this horrible bullshit. You know, there's a war of, of the magi. We'll get more detail on that later. Mm -hmm. And now we're in steampunk time. Mm -hmm. And that's basically where we're at right now. Okay. Magic's not really a thing right now. Okay. But it, it kind of is. It's one of those weird things where, like, monsters can do magic, but, like, people can't. Oh, okay. And here we have a mistranslated Star Wars reference. This also kind of reminds me of Lost Planet. I don't know what that is. It's, it was an Xbox 360 game that's actually really good, and I'm going to play on stream one day. So, here, uh, are you ready for a mistranslated, uh, mistranslated, mistranslated Star Wars reference? Yes. Because they're supposed to be Biggs and Wedge, but... For some reason, they came out as Vixen Wedge. You know, you do as you do. This game, this game's translation is a little weird, but we'll get to that later. But I mean, like, yeah, it would be hard to be a translator because you're literally taking a whole other language. Like, they probably have words that we don't even. Well, this have. this was well, they do, and this was also back when translating and proof like proofreading your game was like a luxury. Mm. Yeah, because, I mean, like, I'm sure there's, like, different words in other languages that mean something that don't even have, like, an English Yeah, no, there's plenty of translation. that. Translation. Well, like, that's why you don't do direct translations. Mm, that's cool. Mm. Mode 7. It actually looks really good. Mm. Um, my grandmother has a Super Nintendo, mm -hmm. and I think she has... She has Donkey Kong Country. I think she has this game. Mm. Um, she has like this racing, oh. weird cartoony card game. Oh, oh, uh. And Link to the Past. Mm. Oh, that's just an email. I know it's not gonna be on stream, but I still don't want it there. Yeah. Just hit this next thing. Yeah. Right, but I, it's in the way of the thing. But um, yeah, I am. Excited to see how this game goes, because I feel like I could get real into Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. I mean, my experience with Final Fantasy... Can you only play Crystal Chronicles? ...is half of Crystal Chronicles, Okay. and then half of the Wii game, with the birds. Oh, what, Chocobo Mystery Dungeon? I think so. Oh, so no. That's... So, so you played zero Final Fantasy games, basically, because yeah. Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon is... Not at all a Final Fantasy game, and Crystal Chronicles is kind of its own thing. Yeah. Not a good way or a bad way, but, you know, it's it's Crystal Chronicles. Yeah, so... Bucket bitch. I don't have a whole lot of experience, but I've actually never touched this game for the mm. full... For the sole reason I feel like I would get sucked into it. It's, um, it's one of the... The, the thing is, though, even if you got sucked into it, that's not even too bad, because this game is pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Um, this game is a glitchy... This game is almost as glitchy as, like, Gen 1 Pokemon, to be completely are honest. Are you serious? But, unlike Gen 1 Pokemon, most of those glitches are good for you, and I'll show off plenty of those later. Oh. Um, but, like, this game is not that hard. Um, this is probably my favorite Final Fantasy game. I don't have too much... I'm the I'm the JRPG guy, but I don't actually have too much experience with Final Fantasy, mostly because, I, uh, growing up, I didn't have any systems that I could play any of them on. Mm -hmm. But, um... I like how they just morphed into her. Right, guess who, which one's the important character. Um, mm. so, here we go. So, you don't know much of Final Fantasy, so I'm gonna get into how this all works. Mm. So... She looks like Lady Amalthea from The Last Unicorn, but with, like, green hair. Okay, so that's a fun other fact that I can get into later, actually, about the hair. So, this has, uh... So, the way Final Fantasy works is it's not... It is turn-based, but it's not like, you go, you go, you go. Every character has a action bar that fills up. Oh, so Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, but Final Fantasy came up with it. 
okay. Um, because Final Fantasy came up with that uh, in Final Fantasy four, I think. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so you can set it to either active, where um the enemies will not wait for you to fuck around with your menus, or wait where the enemies will wait for you to fuck around with your menus. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter either way. I was whatever. Do you uh, usually do active or wait? I I usually just leave it on as default. I'm just showing off how it works right now. Oh, okay. Um, battle speed is um, so message speed. We want to turn that to fast. I'll turn on two. I think. Um, battle speed is the same thing basically. Uh, command set just to make it look all good. Uh, this game is technically multiplayer, but we don't have any more controllers to use. Oh. Um, it's multiplayer in the sense it's but like you don't even need another controller because it's literally just like this person controls like the top two characters and the person controls the bottom two. Like I could literally oh. just hand you the controller or ask you what you want me to do. Yeah, that's weird. Um, okay. Cursor. Uh, so that's literally just if I tell it to do a spell, if I set it to memory, it'll just go back to its default position. If I set it to memory, it'll be on the same spell. Oh, okay. Uh, I just have. I would keep it on reset just in case. And then we can change. You can change the order of your magic. I keep it on default because I always have, and it's gonna fuck me up more if I try to change it. And then we can change the window color. Oh. Um, and fun fact: this one is straight up just the Chrono Trigger message window because that's also Square Enix. I've never played Chrono Trigger, but I definitely want to. Chrono Trigger is basically an auto entry Final Fantasy game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so also. Uh, Final Fantasy has rows, so right now we're all in the front row, and I'm putting us all in the back row now. Because the front row, basically, you do more physical damage, but you take more physical damage. Back is you do less physical damage and take less physical damage, but magic is unaffected, and guess what I'm going to be using throughout the entirety of this. Oh, okay. If you want to grind XP on, um, <laughs> the, uh, intentionally get Vix and Wedge killed because then she'll get all the XP, but this game is not hard enough to justify grinding right now. Yeah. So... Hello, we've come to harvest your cheese. So... They look so funny. So, Biggs and Wedge, they have uh, only a couple magic deck commands, but our girl here has all of them. Oh. This is basically the, um... The, the part where the game is supposed to be super easy. It's supposed to just give you overpowered shit so you... Well, yeah, it's the tutorial, right? Pretty much, yeah. But it's also, like, story reasons, because it's like, who, who the fuck are we? Mm. I do like the steampunky. Mm. I like the doggos. Oh, well, we're gonna murder them. Oh, no! Oh, no! Poor boys. This music is fire. Mm. Did you just poison them? Yes. Oh. That's what Bioblast does. Uh... Here's a fun little bit uh, in this game. Pretty much any humanoid enemy is probably weak to poison if memory serves. I like the guards. They actually look like hobos. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to. Hello, we're here to harvest your coins. Yes, we're here to harvest your cheese. You don't harvest <laughs> cheese. <laughs> yeah, mm, yes. Mm, cheese. Oh, shit. No, fuck, I'm dead. Sorry, I have weird uh, bits. Right. I tend to just... I don't do drugs. I can't imagine myself on drugs. <laughs> so this is there's nothing too much to say about the enemies here. This mm-hmm. is also just showing off the, uh, the different battle formations. So in this situation, right, the characters are facing different ways. If you get attacked from behind, you take extra damage. Mm. So it's pretty much just common sense. Right. Okay. But um, the whole like Irish. the whole like back attacks and pincer attacks things those become more Excuse apparent. Me, sorry. They become more apparent as we get deeper in the game and fight actual enemies. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we can also heal for like upwards of like 250 HP, even though our highest HP right now is 79. Oh, okay. I mean that's good. <laughs> um, yeah, but I do. I like the style of game. I almost wish it didn't, like, die out. Well, you can blame Final Fantasy VII for that, really. Because Final Fantasy VII tried to be different, and then they made every game, like, different, and then it's to the point now that Final Fantasy VII Remake isn't even an, a- an RPG. Oh. What the hell? What? What's wrong? The mammoth dogs? No, they're just mammoths. Uh, oh, no, X-Fer- they have dog faces. No, x is only single target. I don't like them. Oh, watch this. Oh, 
pig Goodbye. would send their meat to space. <laughs> Goodbye. What do you think mammoth tastes like? Probably like gamey cow. I was always so curious, like when they're all in the uh, like caveman days, it's like, oh, they used to hunt mammoths. It's like, A, how would they do that? Sticks and rocks, dude. A pointy stick is not... You're pissing off a hairy elephant. Yeah, but you have to remember, it wasn't like it was 1v1. It was like a whole shitload of cavemen versus one very confused and probably frightened elephant. Yeah, I know, but I'm very curious to see, A, how would they kill a mammoth? B, what does a mammoth taste like? Oh, well, what does elephant taste like? I don't know. I don't even probably know not. if you can uh, legally eat it. Um, I don't know. I cannot imagine it was great. Alright, now we're in the dungeon, which means random encounters. Where are rats? That's literally Chuck E. Cheese on acid. <laughs> um, They're coming to steal your cheese. <laughs> yeah, we're getting the cheese, boys! Ah, shit, dude! <laughs> All my tea is gone. This music is really good, though. Oh, yeah. I'll get used to it. <laughs> so yeah, um, we should be coming up on, there we go, save point. Shiny point. Here we go, it's around you, so. Uh oh, okay, so like straight up, this was inspired Undertale. Well, kinda, in Undertale you have to talk to the save point, this one you have to stand in it. Yeah, but I mean, it's, Same a, with Chrono Trigger. it's a shiny, shiny Well, spot. yeah, but like, uh, this game was not even the first one to come up with fucking that. Um, that's also where you can use tents, uh, if you have any, but we don't yet. Because basically you're not a save point, it basically just pretends you're on the overworld, which hmm. is the <laughs> the subject of another glitch that makes this game really fucking easy that we'll get into way later. Have fun. And we got a tonic that just heals HP. Okay. Actually, that's, um, what other items do we have? Not just on it. Alright. Nice. Uh, do we even have. Oh, we do. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. More where at. Yeah. Why do they come in hordes of three? Because it's a fucking video okay. game. <laughs> well, no, I know, but I mean, like. Do you think they're like the pack of wolves? They got the part of the DNA that's it's like, we must go in teams of three! I mean, rats are. Well, I mean. Are rats kind of like that? I don't think so. I mean, when I when I was in New York in the Bronx, there was a rat like the size of a small child. That's right. And it was by itself. <laughs> well, I mean, that one probably didn't need any fucking help, no, did it? <laughs> All right, so we got a gate. I'll handle this. Stand back with my sophisticated Magitech technology. You do it, <laughs> Mr. Vapo Rub. Vapo. Get it, Vix? Oh my God. You know they have the Vix Vapo Rub. Yes. Okay. Hand it over. Well, all right, here we go. Boss time. <gasps> I love him. So this is basically just a tutorial how the active battle system works, because if you just spam attacks, you're going to lose. I love him. So what Vix and Wedge are trying to... So basically what they're trying to get at here is that you have to attack the snail itself. After a few turns of you wailing on it, the snail will attack into its shell, and if you hit the shell, you'll be hit with a very powerful lightning attack. He's adorable. I'm sad we have to kill him. I mean, there's nothing saying we're killing him. We're just getting him out of our way. <laughs> You're pretty sure. With missiles. Yeah. So I should also point out, uh, our character does have magic, but there's no real point in using it, because it's a lot weaker than what we have. So now, Ooh. he's in the shell. Um, you know, for the sake of the let's play, I'll show off what happens. Because hitting the shell does damage him. It's just then he does that. Oh. Get wrecked. Which technically doesn't even do that much damage, so you could just tank it if you want. Yeah, but it's teaching you for later. Right. He's cute. Yeah. We'll see more Welks later, I think. Yay. Yeah, we're also, I uh, just pointed this out, we're, we're not playing like one of the remakes because they're all really bad. Um, so. Uh, in the Game Boy Advance version, there is a super boss in, like, the after game that is, like, a recolor of this boss, but I didn't want to fucking sit through the Game Boy Advance version, frankly. Uh, so, yeah. 
Because all the Game Boy Advance version adds is like more dungeons and like mm -hmm. more boss and like it's like 30 fucking extra boss fights. Uh. And I'm like, no thanks. So I think Vix is dead, yep. Oh. I mean this will actually probably just kill him. No. Uh -oh. oh, okay. You only hit wedge. Good. Nothing of value was lost. Oh my god. So are they both dead dead? I don't have any Phoenix down, so yeah. But it's fine. You you only need uh <clears throat> You don't know her name, dude. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I do. don't. <laughs> you do. There we go. This should be it. The only tech move I didn't show off was Confuser. It just inflicts confusion on everything. It's not very helpful when you can just screen nuke the entire fucking board. Oh. And because this game was made in the 90s, things just sort of exploded. Except he, like, didn't explode. He imploded. Yeah. And we didn't even get XP for that. But That's it's fine. Deep. We don't need Biggs in the Wedge anymore, anyway. Are they actually, like, dead? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, well, oh. also because cutscene. This is the Frozen Esper. So, these guys, I didn't establish this earlier. We're from the Empire, and we came to investigate this Frozen Esper. Okay. Try talk. Looks kind of like a dragon? He's more of a bird. Do you know something we don't, you big frozen bitch? Oof. Frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Father. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Where's that light coming from? Whoa. Whoa. Wow, look like I know what an Esper is. Oh my god. Alright, well, we'll see those guys in Chrono Trigger. Alright. He just gets yeeted into another dimension. No, they got yeeted into another dimension. He just fucking struck us with lightning. Oh. We did, beach. Thanks for coming to our stream. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, uh, thanks for coming to the tech demo. Um, oh, my God. You big boy. Where? Please don't give her that voice. <laughs> Whoa, I only just removed the crown. It hurts. What the fuck? Can you just not do a girl voice? You are a I girl. I am a girl! <laughs> Easy, this is a slave crown. The others had complete control of you while you were wearing it. This is not nearly as useful a piece of technology as you would think. Hmm. I can't remember a thing. No worry, I'll come back to you in time, that is. That is weird. Oh, so is this game pretty much getting her memories back or something? She gets them back a lot quicker than you think. Hmm. So I am just going to use the default names for everything, but I'm going to make them in proper fucking capitalization because I'm that guy. So her name is Tara. So plants. Earth. Yeah. But, uh, hence the green hair. Yeah. So here's the, fu here's the funny thing. In the Amano artwork, Amano being the dude who made the artwork, she's supposed to be blonde. I don't know how they fucked that up, but the green hair looks so much better. Because they gave her blonde hair in Dissidia and it looks fucking awful. Mm. Also, one of your other party members is blonde. I think they probably did to differentiate them. Mm. But we'll get into that later. Open this door. We want that girl. She's an officer of the Empire. So he's going to get us the hell out of here. He's got to follow him. Except first. I don't need found an elixir. Nice. This is a little pro tip if you're playing this game. If you ever see a clock, check it. It most of the time will probably have an elixir in it. That's good. I think it's supposed to be. I think that's a reference to mythology somehow, like elixir of life or something. But. Mm. So yeah, we just ran out onto this bridge in the middle of town with no covering on it, and expecting no one to fucking notice. Mm. And before you ask, no, I cannot run. We have you to... were just in here. Wasn't no, this is technically a different cave. Oh. Now we're fighting Were-Rats by herself. So Terra is basically the red mage. She has decent stats all around. Well, that's good. Right. She's a good starter character. Starter character. There isn't really a main character in this game. Uh, this game, I believe, still has the record for the most playable characters in it. That's cool. In the entire party. By the end of this game, we're, we're going to have 16 party members. Oh my god. Or wait. 14 or 16. I can't remember. It's more than 12. I know that. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think it's 14, actually. Counting the optional ones. Hmm. 
Yeah, this game's got it all. Chest. Yeah. Uh, Excuse me, it looks like a battery. So, uh, instead of Phoenix down, it's Phoenix down. Because, you know, remember what I said on the translation? Mm. But I mean, that's still kind of... It's close enough. Yeah. And you got Repo Men and Vaporites. Repo Men? I'm here to take your television. So... With, the way magic works is you can single target it, or if you press L, you can multi-target. Multi-target spells do less damage because you're hitting more things, but I believe Vaporites are weak to fire, and Repo Men barely have any health, so... Nice. You can just spam fire throughout all this, and you'll probably be fine. That's cool. As long as you don't run into too many enemies and run out of magic. Why do they have really creepy, like, Repo Man? Like, they have, like, a monster, <sighs> and then they literally are like, Hi, my name's Joe. I need to take your television so I can feed my children. Like... Wow. Well, I mean, I I would I just assume it's like, they're people who are like looking for you. Oh, whereas the, that makes more whereas sense. Whereas the were rats and sh the vaporites are literally just sh shitty fucking monsters that live in this cave. That makes way more sense than where I went with that. <laughs> and also, it's just an old RPG. The enemies don't really need to make sense. It was just whatever they felt like drawing. Yeah. We'll get into weird enemies later. Don't worry. Got her. Oh, now we can run. Pop up. Psych. <laughs> Welcome to Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm the worst. Oh, well, we're dead. Nice. Hit the ground a little too hard. Well, yeah. It looks like you just fell, and now, like, and now we get a fucking... Now we get a flashback. Ooh. <laughs> With this slave crowd, I'll practically own you. As a feminist... I convulse up with the idea of a man saying that to you. As a man, I am turned on right now. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> no! Come on, you saw that coming. As soon as you said, as a feminist, I was like, well, I know what joke I'm following this up with. So we get a flashback. Because Vixen Wedge mentioned that Terra roasted 50 guards with one fucking move. Hmm. While they're testing her. This game's a lot more sci-fi than you would think. Yeah, but I mean, it's like very steampunky. Right. I don't like that color. I can't tell if it's yellow or green. It's supposed to be like sepia tone. I don't like it. But it doesn't come out very well because you know it's a fucking Super Nintendo game. So here we just have Gestal, the Emperor of the Empire, just sort of, eh, Sig Heil. Um, they're just doing their little thing and Terra's sort of in the background. So yeah, she gets her memories back pretty quickly. Because hmm. that's most of it, really. Oh. She has more backstory later, but it's shit she didn't know in the first place. Mm. But who will save her? Ken? <laughs> from Street, street Fighter? Fighter? <laughs> Took you long enough. How goes the robbing and plundering? Whoa! This is the thief. And his name, funnily enough, is Locke. So I'll like him. Yeah. I prefer the term treasure hunting. <laughs> Somatic nonsense. That's, That's a, a huge difference. That's a huge difference. I love him. He's a precious bean. Wait. Yeah, there's a girl I'd like you to meet. She's dead in a hole. <laughs> Go find her. It's better not have anything to do with that Magitek riding Imperial witch. Imperial troops are pursuing her even as we speak. This town is no match for the Empire. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners, an underground resistance movement. This girl is responsible for her actions. We have to get her to understand our dilemma. All right. I think we better help her. All right, I moved my hairline in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to figure out and find the king after we fucking save this bitch. We don't need to go through the cave again as Locke, thankfully. He just fucking... Oh, that's good. Whoop. There he is. Alright. There's the booty. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's thick! But we're not alone. Of course not. That'd be too convenient, right? Now we gotcha. 
come my werewolf army. Whoa, I love them. <sighs> but who will save us doing the saving? Uh, Koopo. <gasps> oh, the little, little, ah! oh my God, I love them. The yeah. thing from Crystal Chronicles you can spray paint. Moog you can spray, Moogles. you can spray paint Moogles? Yeah. I need to play Crystal Chronicles. <laughs> They're adorable. Moogles, Moogles. Are you saying you want to help me? So here we get into controlling multiple parties. I love Moogles. And this one Moogle is going to try to explain it to us, but I already got it. So we control three separate parties of four characters. To switch between which one we're controlling, we press Y. The idea is basically to not let them get to Terra. Now, here's a, here's a life pro tip. See this one? See Mog? Take all his shit. He's the only one whose equipment you can fuck with. Take a while, guess why. Um, yeah, because you keep him, right? Maybe. Uh, so, like basically, the best way to do this is just keep one party, like, literally in this little stopgap right here. And we're going to want the party with Mog to get into at least one fight. Mog does not need his equipment. <gasps> For you see, Mog has something better than the weapon. He has... Oh, shit. I don't have that unlocked yet. Well, we'll get it in a fucking minute. <laughs> There is a glitch you can do to have an all Moogle party for the rest of the game, but that's generally a bad fucking idea. Aw, but Moogles. Basically, the way the game saves your characters, all characters are saved to a slot, and all the Moogles temporarily occupy that slot, and if you do some weird clipping shit and, like, skipping scripts, you can keep them instead of your actual party members. So Mog, uh, Mog has a special ability that is based on the terrain you fight in. When you complete a battle, you gain a new ability, uh, and that ability is the power of dance! I love it. Seduce them. Caven. So depending on which dance you use, each one has like four effects it can cast. And if you're in the same terrain, it has a better chance of working. If you're in different terrain, it can fail. Um, and he becomes uncontrollable. The power of dance takes him and he just sort of keeps going until he dies. Um, Me too. But yeah, so... Oh, wrong one. Uh, but yeah, so that's what Mog's doing. Let's get into a fight with Locke. Oh, yeah, and if they walk up to you while you're sort of doing that, then they hate you, too. I love the power of dance. <laughs> if we're being technical, it's closer to the geomancy skill that was in 5, but I'm being pedantic. Oh, my. Yeah, the first one you get also is an instant kill thing. I love them. <laughs> But Let's... yeah, in Crystal Chronicles, you can spray paint them and customize them, that's and awesome. they do dance and have a power, so I guess that's what that's from. So Locke is the thief, which means he can steal. Stealing is... Steals heart. Stealing is uh, generally belts. not worth it, because it doesn't work very often. You can make it work better later in the game, but it's not really anything you're going to make a ton of use of. There's some shit later in the game where, like, if you know... How do I put this? There's some enemies later where you're like, you're gonna want to steal from them, but for right now, I wouldn't even really bother. Morty. Right, I want to fucking kill the boss with Mog because um, he has an instant kill fucking move, and if we roll into that, it's fine. Because mm. this is the early game, so the boss is susceptible to this shit because they don't expect you to know about it. Well, oh. that one's dead. Oh no! Cuckoo, no! <laughs> I love Fuku. <laughs> That's another thing. The Game Boy Advance retranslates the game, so all the Mogs are basically... All the Moogles, their names are basically puns on Mog, which is, is kind of lame. Yeah. So it's the name like Cuckoo and Coupon, they're like Moglet and like Mogan and shit like that. Ew. But Marshall's dead. Good. Yeah, I think you can steal like a potion from him or something if you, if you bring Locke in here, but it's not really a big deal. That guy's kind of annoying. He can inflict stop on your character so they just can't do anything. Ew. And now that we killed him, all the other werewolves kind of blip out of existence. E. Well, she's fucking dead. Thanks, Moogles. So Moogles live in caves, is that confirmed? Yes. Did he just suck you into her pocket? Yes. And he... you're running. Yes. You gotta get her out of here before more fucking shit shows up. <laughs> Blech! Alright, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she's still fucking dead. Oh, at least I kept her warm. I think the switch... Oh, uh... it's a webcam! Hi, welcome to... Scoop! What? But it's, I can't say the actual thing. What? S K. Not Y, it's a U P E. Scoop. Skype. Oh. Because it's a webcam. Oh, I thought you were making like a cam girl joke. No! 
I thought you were like making like a fucking like, hey, welcome to fucking Chatterbait or something. Like, no, why oh can't you god. say? I was like, why can't you say Chatterbait? <laughs> oh my god, no! I made a joke, like, oh no, and I was like, oh, I like talking about my hatred for small children, <laughs> and I was like, if I ever had to give birth, I'd get rug burn, and two of my coworkers thought that you. <laughs> Like, you and me doing the duty oh my Lord. was causing friction, and I was having, like, issues. And they're like, you should go see a doctor. I'm like, what? No, I'm fine. I'm like, it's like, the, you're hairy. I am I have long hair. The <laughs> child would have hair. And that was, it was just so awful. So this is, this is the tutorial house. Uh, spit in the bucket. That's a folio. What the fuck? It's supposed to be like, it's like magic wand. I'm making a joke about spinning in the bucket. Uh, okay. So there's nothing left for us to do in Narsh. We can't even go that deep into it anymore. Well, just throw the pocket girl into the thing, right? No, we're getting her out of here. We have to go find the king. Oh. The king of Figaro. Oh. Flashback of Link 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we got the map in the corner there. Very nice and helpful. I, I got pretty lucky not encountering any fucking shit. Alifa. <gasps> Evil bunnies. Yes. It's like Banicula, but cabbage. But somehow even lamer. <laughs> hey! No, it's like Banicula cabbage fusion. <laughs> so this is what the whole world thinks of bunnies. Alright. Uh, so if you go into like the trees here, you do actually encounter different enemies. Because it's like a different terrain. Ooh. Although there are still leafers and dark winds. I like the leafers. Again, you can just spam fire and just... The early game is nothing to be worried about. Well, okay, right now is nothing to be worried about. This game isn't hard, hard, but like there are there are speed bumps. Mm. I mean that makes a good game. Right, we're um we're gonna begin to that pretty not no pretty soon I guess. So now we're in the desert, the vast emptiness of fucking sand. Nice. Fuck. Sand ray. <laughs> so sand ray. So aeronids can inflict poison on you. Sand rays aren't super worth talking about. It's really weird when they make games like this where you get the cartoon characters, meanwhile the sand ray is like creepily realistic. It's yeah. like, wow, I came out of an anime. I'm gonna fight this realistic sand. Uh, fish? Yeah, manta rays are fish, I think. Are, I think so. What are they? Uh, they're murderers, that's what they are. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, I, you see, I made a fatal mistake, and I haven't just- I didn't just spam fucking magic, because I was like, I don't want to. Oh yeah, and if you press the button quick enough in the transition, it will- Because what I- like, you just saw that cut from the fight to my menu. That wasn't anything weird, that was literally- if you hit it in one transition, it'll stop and go to a different transition instead. Hmm. This- if you want- Big it all! If you want fucking good music, holy shit. Wait till we get in here. They have the bird boys! I've heard this. So we gotta head into the castle here. There's um, there's shit in these doors here, but I'm gonna wait to explore that for reasons that'll become apparent later. Here we go. It's the king. I didn't know this was the game this song was from because I listen to a lot of music just when I'm screwing off, and mm -hmm. I know this song. Yeah. You mean this young woman? Nice rack there, baby. You see, it's funny because um, his name is Edgar. Edgar is literally like that. Oh, sorry. I should probably take you on a date. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. Young King of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire, and a master designer of machinery. As I said, his name is Edgar. Edgar. No. See, this is another thing. His mono armor, he's in, like, blue and shit, but on a sprite, he has, like, that, like, black and green fucking armor, and I think that looks mm -hmm. way fucking cooler. Yeah. I am Edgar, King of Figaro. Express him like Mino's a king. Mm, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nodding in agreement. Mm, talk to you later. I'm a thief. I should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, Imperial Soldier, no problem. Figaro and the Empire allies. Please relax right here. Not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you helping me? Is it because I fucking can fucking shoot fire out of my crotch? Mm. First, your beauty has captivated. Second, I'm dying. Blech. What's luck? <laughs> Kara, are you really that dense? 
Terra is... Denser than a can of Spam. <laughs> I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing, but I'm hardly normal. This is Terra's other subplot. She doesn't understand how to feel love and how and like attraction and shit like that. Oh, um, that's sad. We get we get res we get resolution for that later, but honestly, it comes off as a little forced in some parts. We get another mm -hmm. Phoenix down there. This is the part that fucks me up because I always forget where to go because mm -hmm. we have to trigger something. I'm gonna try to do this with minimal fucking wandering, but. I mean, it should be better than my Belasis fight. <laughs> uh, that brings me joy. No. It doesn't bring you joy. It, it me doesn't joy. bring me joy. It brings me pain and suffering. So Vigoro Castle is pretty big. Um, need a rest? Yeah. So this is another heal. I like how you just yeet it over to the bed. Well, yeah, of course. Wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. All right, here we got Edgar's bitches. Edgar shows attention on women, most are too smart to pay any attention to him. <laughs> imagine, imagine this guy being your fucking king. Mm. He, recently, he recently tried to hit on the high priestess. Surely he's talked to. <laughs> I like how everybody's like, yeah, he's just thirsty. Uh, ignore it. Pretty much. If I may be allowed to make one of your references for a minute, uh, imagine if Julian had political power. Oh. That's basically Edgar's whole shit. I stick. would slob on his knob so fast. Fuck. Okay, shit. So yeah, you can't like go around the other bits of the castle. You have to like go in and go through that way. Mm. It's a little weird just because of where the boundaries are. E. Yeah, we found the um. A cloak. We found the uh, not those clocks, like the taller grandfather clocks, but good for keeping your eye out. This is the jail. And uh, that dude, yeah, that's literally a sprite right from Final Fantasy V, because Lone Wolf was in Final Fantasy V, I believe. Oh. I didn't play a lot of five though. <laughs> like I said, I this is the part where I always forget where to go because you have to like go into like a specific fucking tower. Hmm. Uh, well, that's all right. It's a good tour, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, a force called magic existed. They were called mage knights. Is that it? Yes. They're scholars. They don't have much to say, but they like to sound smart when they do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's I like the bird voice. The chocobos. Yes, those are the fucking birds in that other Final Fantasy game I played. Yes. Yeah, chocobos are pretty much mainstays. I love them. I... I'm deeply sorry. I have no fucking recollection of where to go. This part fucks me up no matter how many times I play this. Don't look it up. Look it up? No. I got it. Okay. it will be fine. There's only so many rooms in this godforsaken castle. And besides, there's items and shit I can get around, so. Okay. That's good. It's not like it's a complete waste of time. Yeah, I know. I'm not pushing you or anything. Scholars the world over are doing research on magic. Silly people, scholars. Why, the, why are you giving them, like, a witch voice? Because that's what they are. They're scholars. They're word witches. They're word... Okay. It's like my pagan station. <laughs> Your pagan station, yes. I have, like, this small little table with, like, crystals and a meditating skeleton and, like, just general spook items. General spook items, and yes. I, last night, when I was really tired, or the other night... Recently, sometime in this week, I was very tired and I called it my pagan station. <laughs> no, I think it's an amazing. Yeet, yeet, yonk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's try this way. I thought you went that way. No, because they didn't go down the stairs. Well, I did go down the stairs, but then I didn't go this way to this tower. Oh. I swear to God. I like the chokey bokies. Yeah, they're, they're cute. There we go. Found it. His highness said he'd marry me when I get older. That's creepy. I like to believe he said that as like a not serious thing, but this yeah. is Edgar we're talking about. Edgar is a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. So you're gonna fall in love with him. Hmm? Tara's gonna fall in love with him, huh? No, you'll see. So this is supposed to be a flashback, but they still give them their adult sprites. Hmm. Brother, what's wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? 
are you blind? Look how thin his face has become. Okay. This is why I can't trust you to are do you voices. Are you blind? Look how thin his face has become. This is why I can't trust you to do voices. My name is Zap Brannigan Edgar. That is not even what Zap Brannigan. I know. My favorite part of the woman is the movies. <laughs> Although Edgar, I can imagine Edgar saying that. Yeah. So basically, the king is dying. He's old and sick, and no one really wants to talk about it. Mm. As you do. Right. And... Tears. Gotta go lift some... Tears. Edgar's twin brother traded to the throne for his own freedom. It's Sabin. Sabin. Yeah, this is where we start getting into the really weird fucking video game names. I like it. Like Edgar, Tara, Locke, okay, but then here's Sabin. Mm. Yes, his name is Sabin. Oh, he looks so much like his father. They're when he, twins, aren't they? When he <laughs> ran away, he was a sweet little child. What? She said they were twins. Yeah. Wouldn't they both look like his father? Well, I mean, one would probably just look more like them. I have siblings, and we look more like one fucking parent than the other. You don't look... You could you could argue which between you and your brother who looks more like, you know, your mom or your dad. I always look like my dad. Everybody's like, yo, she looks just like your man. And I'm like, I'm a man in a tutu. <laughs> All right, so we get a little bit of backstory. Can you ride the bird, boys? Not now. <gasps> but you can eventually? Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Not forever. It's basically a fast travel thing. It's bird boys. Uh, no, I'm here. So I think now we have to go back to the... This is like one of those things where you have to just sort of know where to go. Mm. Eventually the game is like, alright, we're gonna start the next bit. Yay. So you can know this dude's walking out of here. What was his succession? It was so repugnant to save him, the king's brother, that he fled the castle forever. His succession was settled with a coin toss. That's nice. Well, because neither of them really wanted to do it. Yeah. Well, how do you like my castle? Want to see my other tower? King Edgar, someone from the Empire to see you. <laughs> No, oh, damn you, Bobby. It's probably Kafka. She wants my Kafka. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Emperor against all stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead. Why do you have to live out in the middle of nowhere? These recon jobs are the pits. <clears throat> There's sand on my boots. Literally, Lucio. There's comparisons to be made. Yes, sir. All set, sir. And the Julian and Lucio and Azra references are from Arcana mobile game that I actually want to slob on all their knobs, so just saying. But there's a couple references there. I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was, like, design elements that they took from older games like this. But... Well, yeah, they reference a ton of video games and old movies. So now so. we're controlling Edgar. Edgar. So one of the reasons... Uh, that we wanted to take Mog's shit is because Edgar equips spears, and that spear that Mog had is way better than what Edgar starts with. Oh, cool. Same with the shield. Because Edgar, we're gonna have for a long time. Hmm. Videos on South looking for cities to destroy? That's for us to know. So, yeah. So they won't give a straight answer. What brings Kefka, humble servant of Emperor Gestalt, to our lowly presence? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. This wouldn't have anything to do with the witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? She owes me ten bucks. <laughs> That's a tough one. You see, there's more girls here than grains of sand out there. I can't keep track of them all. <laughs> It'd be you if we found out you're lying. I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. So he's Lucio, okay. Yeah, but Lucio at least has, like, an excuse. Um, Oof. no, Kafka has an excuse, but it's... We'll get that later. I see that guy's missing a few buttons. Where's Tara? Take her to her room. Stick it in her. Woof! <laughs> Sometimes I hate being a king. Excuse me. So now we gotta follow Locke. And he, he doesn't fucking wait for you. You gotta fucking, you gotta haul ass. I mean, that's pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, but when the first time I played this, like, I he, you don't see him out here. Like, you have to go into this tower, and it's pretty obvious in hindsight. But, like, when I first played, I was like, wait, where the fuck you go? Yeah. Didn't worry about a thing. I'll, uh... 
You're luck, right? Edgar told me about you. Is that true you're a thief? That's treasure hunter. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. The truth is he's collaborating with our Turners, an organization opposed to the Empire. I am his contact with that group. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us. Empire? But I'm a soldier of the Empire? That's not true. They were using you. Things are different now. Let us use you instead. I don't understand. What should I do? I can't tell you what to do. You don't have to decide right now. You'll figure it out yourself. I know I'm paraphrasing, but mm. it's, it's the dialogue in this game is a little stiff at points. How will I know which way is right? It crashes. No, I'm just kidding. Shush. No, this is supposed to happen. Oh, God, I can't stop thinking about her. No, it's, uh... It's more like, um... Oh, my God, everything's on fire! Oof. <laughs> Oh my god, 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 my children! What's happening? It's the Empire, it's Kafka. That's very sad. Get ready. Change your mind? I guess I have no choice. Or maybe I do! I love it. Landing crotch first on an ostrich would not feel good. <laughs> Shameful that a king would flee leaving his people behind. How utterly delightful! Jump! I love it. Dive now! So the reason Figaro Castle has all those air vents on it? Um, for some reason, Edgar thought it was a good idea to make his castle do this. Like, obviously it's coming in handy right now, but I'd like to know what the first initial idea was for this. You know, like, what, what inspired him to be like, you know what would be cool? If my castle was a fucking submarine. A dirt submarine? Yeah. I mean, I guess that's cool. This is, like, the best line again. Oh, no, fucking. I think he says it later. Here we go. You can't beat the bird boys. Magitek armor. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Well, that's fine. So Edgar has tools. The only thing he has right now is the auto crossbow, which does this. There's basically no reason to ever use his regular attacks until we get an upgrade later. Well, so much for lock. Oh no. Oh, boy. Not the thievey, boy. I really wish I didn't fuck that up. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, uh, when you cast magic, you get this cutscene. And Locke comes back to life for a minute <laughs> for it. It's about you look positively spooked. Did, did, did you see that? Yeah, that kid seems loaded. She's amazing. That was magic. Mm, I, M m magic! She used magic! I love it. And they're whispering about it. Where on earth did you learn that? Sorry, I, uh... They didn't mean to make it seem like such a big deal. Me either. So I've never actually seen magic before. That's the only difference between us. She can use magic and we can't. Hmm. The fact is we can use her help. That's cool. Wink. And luck! And then they do the, ha-ha! And, and then they both die. And lock, go back to being dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, that's just your internet. It's not our stream. Oh, lovely. I wish you pointed that to me a minute ago. All right, cool. Yeah, we're fine. Cool, 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 cool. Ding, 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 ding. Son of a submariner. I'll pay for this. <laughs> Son of a submariner, they will pay. This is great. I love the birds. Is that a bad person? I'm scared. Oh, that's sad. 
and I'd like you to meet the members of the Returners, and they're basically just giving the same spiel they did. Mm-hmm. Terra's magical power, so that's just seen to react to her. Uh, and the fog is only natural. <clears throat> it seems natural to me that I have use of this power, but no human is born with the powers you have, and that was the word. That was the wrong thing to say. I know they put emphasis on it, so it was obvious why, like, she got offended, but, like, I like to imagine he literally, like, said it like that, like, no human can use magic. Mm. The Empire's gonna come after you. If they get their hands on you again, the world's finished. You wanna understand your own powers, right? Then I think we need to consult with Bannon. South is Kaylee, South Negro. And now we're on a chocobo. I love it. While you're on a chocobo, you move much faster and you do not find random encounters. Uh, and is this the cave? Yes. All right, we're done with the chocobo now. But I love the bird boy. There are, um, you can find in, like, forests and stuff, like, little, um, patches of land that give you chocobos mm -hmm. that you can, like, temporarily ride on for, like, money. Uh, but we'll get into that later. Oh, I need to save. Good plan. All right, into the cave we go, boys. Wee -woo, wee -woo. Where are you headed? Through the cave? I guess we're just south, Figaro. Turn the castle until the others are safe. Yep, yeah. So I believe that means the castle will pop back up if we just, like, go in and go out, which I'm going to go check because I want to get back into the castle. Why? There's something in there we can get that we want. Remember when I said there was doors that I wasn't going to bother with? E. That's because you want Edgar. You can access it without him, but it's better to have him. Mm -hmm. Might as well just use the regular fucking mm -hmm. thing just to show off what the animation is, I guess. I'm pretty sure his tools are still based off his attack stat. I don't see why they wouldn't be. Mm. Um, Ooh, there's someone else here. Howdy. I think it's, I think it's just a pod. Oh. That's all right. Um, oh, can I not fucking do that now? Hey, if you hold both the shoulder buttons, that's how you run. Oh. I was gonna see, I was gonna ask if there was like a run button. Um, okay, looks like Castle's not there. I guess I kind of messed that one up, but it's fine. Uh, you can get more tools for Edgar a little early if you know to go into the, uh, the place there. Mm-hmm. But if you go into the castle, because you can go back later, I know that. And if you do that, then you get discounts if Edgar's in your party, because, you know, he's the king. Yeah. Um, but that's just something we'll deal with now. The auto crossbow is more than enough. All right. Nice. Turtle. So this spring is also full heal, and I completely forgot about that when I What's fucking... What's the turtle? He's just a turtle. What the fuck? I love him. <laughs> Ugh. What's wrong? They look like gross. Yeah. They With a cute name like Crawly, you're like, oh, Crawly, and instead they're like, Wah! how is Crawly a cute name? Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, Tara learned Ant Dot. Ant Dot? Yeah. Um, it cures poison. It's supposed to be antidote. Oh, like no. I said, the translation. So this, so this introduces sort of a unique mechanic to this game that I'm probably not going to be making use of. Certain treasure chests, if you leave them alone and come back later in the game, they'll have different items in them. Oh, that's cool. I believe this is one of those caves because you do come back to this cave later, but I don't remember which treasure chest it is. Mm -hmm. And you don't need the item you get in it. It just makes one section a lot easier. Uh, but that is a thing in this game. Hornet. Yep. Ew. Yeah, so now you don't even really need to keep spamming fire and everything. You can just wait for Edgar's turn and then just spam auto crossbow and everything because it does a lot of damage. That's good. Edgar is basically the um, the hold your hand character for the beginning part of the game because the auto crossbow is actually just nuts. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was intentional or what, but like, holy hell. What if one of them is allergic to bees? Well, then they're gonna be for a rough fucking day. <laughs> yeah. Actually, if you're allergic to bees, does that automatically mean you're also allergic to hornets? I'm not sure. 
I think so. Hornets only... I've only been stung by hornets. I've never been stung by, a, like, a bee. Only hornets. I've never been stung by either, and hopefully it'll stay that way. <laughs> yeah. It's not fun. So you need to steal anything, though. Also, so if you hit right, that's where you get the defend command, and left is the row. I don't know why they didn't put them all on one thing, but... so tired I did not sleep good last night I'm sorry no nah, it's okay it's not your fault or anything here we go we have come out the other side I just like to save as often as I can I'm the same way and here we go fuck a village a rhino tar <gasps> I love him oh he's cute in a creepy way yeah, another reason stealing isn't really worth anything right now is because most of the enemies just have tonics. Which is fine, it's a healing item, but, you know. Mm. And I believe you can only steal once, like, from one enemy at a time. Or one item from an enemy at a time. So you can't just, like, grind tonics off of Rhino Tars, for example. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'd like this game, but I don't know if I would have the patience for, like, the constant, like... Oh. For the JRPG-ness of it. Yeah. So, this here is a Chocobo Hut. <gasps> oh! I love him! So, this is where you can um, pay, like, whatever amount of money to, like, temporarily get a Chocobo to ride around on to make things go a little faster. Um, we don't need that right now because we're not going anywhere because where we want to be. I think. Here we go. This is the end. Good relics to get a variety of abilities. He's doubled my walking speed. Hello. Oh, he's there. So yeah, um, relics are, uh, fuck me. Mog, go away. Sprint shoes W speed. True now lets you shield those during battle. Dragon moves that give you jump. Gauntlets so you hold the sword with both hands. Um. So these are accessories. They're part of our equips. Sprint shoes give you the run button. Mm -hmm. Uh. Goggles prevent blindness. So, <laughs> okay. Um, here's a fun story. Your characters have an evasion stat. Mm -hmm. It does nothing. Oh. The game is bugged. Evasion is mapped to your magic defense instead. So dark makes it so you don't hit very often, but because evasion is bugged, it actually does nothing except on one very specific character in one very specific instance that we're not going to get into until almost halfway through the game. Oh. So, goggles don't do anything. Nice. Star Pendant, Pedantic and Poison, that's worth getting at least one of, I'd say. Jewel Ring, Pedantic Sense, Dark, and Petrify, so I don't even know why the fuck the goggles are here. And True Knight is when your other characters are low on HP, your character will, the character as equipped can jump in the way of that and protect them. Mm. Um, most of these you get more copies of later, so I'm just getting the sprint shoes and shit right now because holy fuck. And you only have to have them equipped on one party member. Um, and I'll put this star pendant on... Put this star pendant on fucking Edgar, because he's like the most important guy we have right now. Yeah. So yeah, with the sprint shoes, this is how fast we move now. Woo! I love it. The Game Boy Advance version does have a run button, and the sprint shoes still work, so you basically just fly around, around <laughs> on the screen. That's like the only thing that's good about that version, honestly, because... One of the big things I really don't like about that version is the colors and the sound are super saturated. Mm -hmm. Or, like, they're, like, they look washed out. So, like, it, it just looks like it's in terrible quality. The music is in horrible fucking quality. And the only thing they add is just more boss fights and it's more of a grind. It's just not really fun to sit through for a Let's Play, which is why we're just doing the OG mm. version here. We could have played, like, the Steam version, but no. Because yeah. <laughs> the Steam version is the same fucking thing, but it looks even worse. Mm. Because it was a mobile game. Ew. Uh, that, this is the cafe in the Japanese version. It says bar. That's awesome. Uh, because we're sensitive Americans, alcohol doesn't exist, but fucking Killer Monsters does. Uh, Ooh. Arsenal. Let's see. So we can get, we can just get everyone all equipped out here. Oh, so these are the other tools for Edgar. The noise blaster, which, um, I think this is basically just confuse in place. You only need one of each. Okay. And the Bio Blaster, which is the same thing Terra had, pretty much. 
Uh, let's see. Regal Cutlass is good for Terra. You can see little arrows there to tell you if it's better or worse than what they currently have equipped. Oh, that's cool. Which I really like. And then equipment. Um, let's see. Heavy shield. Get two of those. Uh, cotton robe for you. Kung Fu suit for you. Boom <laughs> tats for everybody. Yeah, there we go. Let's get everyone nice and decked out. Nice. Another thing that's nice about this game, they have a, they have an optimum button. So you can just fucking hit that and whatever's best for them, it'll equip them with. It's not actually as, it's not super smart. Because mm -hmm. sometimes if you have weapons with like the exact same attack, if you hit, if you keep hitting, it'll swap between them and shit like that. But it's, um. It's good so it doesn't take a ton of time. Right. It's mostly good. Most of the time you just want the best shit. Sometimes like elemental stuff will take that into account, but that's shit you would be preparing for anyway. Yeah. Uh, please, child, fuck off. All right. <laughs> Oh, also, if you don't like being Edgar, you can just switch who's on top, and that controls who you're walking around as. Oh. Uh, so, we saw someone walking around in town when we came in. Straight up a bar. It's the big borders. At the very least, you gave me a response. Stand back. Wait a minute. I know that guy. I hired him to murder the president. Oh my god. He owes his allegiance to no one. They do anything for money. He comes and goes like the wind. So puss in boots. <laughs> the name is Shadow, thank you. So puss in boots for Shrek. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> That's Shadow. He'd slit his mama's throat for a nickel. Oof. Yeah, steer clear of my guess. Talks to him. Leave us. The dog eats strangers. Oof. It's like a chihuahua. He's like shaking and pissing all over <laughs> the floor. You see, I, I think he's supposed to be a Doberman, but yeah, yeah. um, but there's points where you see uh the dog. The dog's name is Interceptor. You see Interceptor in like a fight, and they don't scale up his sprite. So I always imagined he was a min pin, <laughs> and, which is way <laughs> fucking funnier to me. Yeah. He's supposed to be a Doberman or a Wattweiler or something, but he's so small. <laughs> All right, so we've got ourselves all equipped out. It's time to head to the south of South Figaro, to the boat. She wasn't going anywhere. Well, okay, fine. Fuck you guys then. <laughs> See how it is. Imagine if you walked into a bank and they're just like, "We're out of money." <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the American economy. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I don't think you need to see Shadow there because you see Shadow at multiple points in the game, but that is... Hey, maybe you do. Maybe we're supposed to go back in there. The beginning of the game's a little foggy for me. I'm not going to lie. I've played this game a few times, but like this beginning bit gets away from me every... every you know, the smaller details. Mm. So the inn is up there to heal up. And down here. This is where we came out with... Oh, no. Here we go. Well, there's something different. There's a hint for later. You gotta get a set over the old man. That's my job. Now scram. Cider Man, man, the Cider Man has fucking disappeared. <laughs> so that's a, that's a little hint for uh, another part of the game later on, but we can still follow the Cider Man. He has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea that Sanic the fucking Hedgehog is just sprinting <laughs> right next to him. Okay, so here's here's a little fun fact for you. Um, Tara, her name was supposed to be, like, weird sounding. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously, in Japan, they gave her a name, you know, like Tara, where it's like, you could probably meet someone with this name, but you probably haven't. Mm -hmm. But this is Japan we're talking about. So it sounds funny to us. In, in the Japanese version, her name is Tina. Tina. Yeah, basically, because te no one's named Tina in fucking Japan, I guess. Yeah. Uh, let's see what this kid says. Grandpa was served with the richest man in town. I like strangers. Bring me some cider, and maybe I'll talk to you. Rip. 
pepperoni. Get pepperoni. Pepperoni. Why are you stalking him? Uh, just, the poor boy. He's following the cider man. I think he just literally returns to his original position. Mm. Oh, fuck me. I really wish it. Oh, wait. I think I remember what to do. Your. Excuse me. Yeah, sorry, I'm a fucking nightmare. That's cool. I'm just so tired. I actually might take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Second release that way. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Barger won't try to write a letter. Even a millionaire can be startled. Oof. So this dude's basically selling out the town for money. Mm. Fuck. 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 Down here. Fuck. I. Fuck me. I really wish I'm not. I didn't do this twice in one fucking stream, but it is. I'm drawing another fucking blank of where to go here. Because I'm still grabbing items and shit anyway. Because you come here twice, and you do different shit each time, so it always mixes me up which, like, what I'm doing, basically. Like, where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Like, I know the cider thing is a hint for later. But there's, like, other shit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe you could talk to Big Bertha over there. Ooh. That guard that was walking around. Is that a magic shoop? Uh, it's just items. Item shoop. No ether in that, unfortunately. So the tents, um, you can use those on the overworld or in save points. They fully heal your entire party. Sleeping bags are the same thing, but for one character. Um, those are gonna be good to have, generally, but I don't have any fucking money. Same. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? Fuck South Figaro. We're leaving. Fuck this place. Get, get out of my fucking way. <laughs> I think it's time that we, uh... I think it's time we dipped. Alright. No, we're not in the stream. Oh. I'm fucking... Because there is more to do. Boy, you see, I have duped you. I remember what to do. And that is fucking leave and go somewhere else. I thought, I thought, I thought an NPC, like, told you what to do, and that's what I was looking for, but... I realize that that is not the case. Yeah, the Bio Blaster can inflict poison, but it's not as strong as the Auto Crossbow, so, you know. You pretty much get it for completionist's sake. Mm. Uh, here we go. Little house. Not my pedaddy. Hmm, what's that smell? Oh my fucking god. You see, I was gonna make a joke like Locke, be like, yes, yeah, sorry, I farted. <laughs> but alright, cool. And this is favorite tea. So Edgar thinks he knows who used to live in this cabin. Sabin was here. See, I thought this was something in town you had to do, and that's what I was looking for. I forgot it was like out in the middle of butt fucking nowhere. You know this guy? Of course, he left a couple days ago when he heard Master Duncan was slain into the mountains. I heard Duncan's son Vargas is missing as well. I have a bad feeling. So yeah, um, everyone's like, oh my god, Sabin's been gone for like a decade, but he literally lived like a 20 minute walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Mount Colts. My computer's gonna die, but we'll, the stream should still be fine. Yeah. Because we're running on your computer. Brawlers. These dudes actually have shit you can steal from them. That's like decent, I think, but it's probably not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. They've come for Ken. There we go. So, this is our first real dungeon. Nice. So yeah, this is this is basically going to be your game plan for this first part of the game. Just heal up with Terra, 
and just have Edgar shoot the fuck out of everybody with a goddamn crossbow. Yeah. It's basically the equivalent of him having a fucking gun. I like how, like, the brawlers are, like, normal-sized people, and meanwhile they're actually midgets. Well, yeah, it's just supposed to be, like, the enemies have a lot of detail on them while you're... Well, because they don't animate, you do. Yeah. So sometimes we can get pincer attacks on the enemies as well. Hmm. It's, it's just, it's just random. I believe there's, like, um, uh, fuck. There's, like, equipment <laughs> you can use to, um, increase the chances of it. So this is something I can show off. If you're, if you're multi-targeting on yourself, you can only hit one side or the other. Hmm. So I can either heal Terra and Locke or just Edgar with the magic. And it works the same way if you're in the middle and you have two sides of enemies on, uh, on you. That I'll want to just be like. Brawlers can be kind of dangerous because they do a decent amount of damage, but it's nothing too bad. It's a shadowy figure moving around above us. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, indeed. Tusker! <laughs> Ew, they're just the recolored other ones. Yeah, we've already got recolors, boys. You're wondering how people hunted woolly mammoths. The answer is crossbows. <laughs> She's the bio blaster. See, that's the thing that makes Edgar's tools really good is they don't cost anything. Mm -hmm. I don't need ammo for the shit. I don't need magic. It just they just fucking gotta hit the button and things die. Like I said, for a long time, Edgar's your best fucking character. Mm. Yeet, 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 you yeet. yourself up the Fuck! So close. Yeah, sometimes, uh, characters run away without the rest of you. Oh. <laughs> it's a little, um... It's a good detail. It's a little unfortunate. Ooh. Hey, get back here. So there's two kids. One of them. Fuck. <laughs> More brawlers. More brawlers. It's pretty much just brawlers all the way down in this one. It's kind of weird. It's, You're like crashing a hideout or something? It's it's supposed to be like a hint of what's going on up here. Cause, uh, Karate fighting. Yes. Karate training. It's Master Splinter. Yes, everyone. Um, this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle hideout, apparently. Once we beat the boss up here, we'll probably cut the streams because we've been going for a little about like an hour, but I don't really want to stop in the middle of the dungeon. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, sorry, I'm not very no, talkative. No, no, no. I'm just very tired. It's cool. Uh, this, this is about where I wanted to stop anyway. Well, I wanted to stop a little later, Why? but I fucked around too much, so I'm like, fuck it, we'll just, it's fine. And on the grassy part, we have Cypress. Yeah. Excuse me. So, they're, they're recolors. They're birds, and they're dead. <laughs> I believe they can inflict petrify on you, but they almost Ooh. never bother to use that attack. Save point. That's good, but also bad. <laughs> Done. Just gonna use some of the oh, some of these tonics. Uh, wow, I don't have any. Um, oh yeah, I do. I have one tincture. Terra's magic isn't going to be super necessary coming up, but it's, you know, it's always good to have. Yeah. If you can shoot fire out of your hands, you might as well. Exactly. And we also have more Tuskers and a Trillium. Hell? It looks almost 3D and, like, doesn't fit. It's it's a little weird. Trilliums can inflict poison on you, I believe. Uh, they reach you fire because they're fucking plants. Is that what that's supposed to be? Yeah, it's supposed to be like a vine monster. So you saw there, fire pretty much instantly kills anything I used it on before, because these are four decently tough enemies, they didn't really go down at all. But the auto crossbow don't give a fuck. <laughs> Attacks that are meant to hit multiple enemies don't follow that rule. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just when you forcibly stretch it out. 
More trilliums. They're so gross. I just keep spamming steel just to see what I get. Yep, there we go. So now it's time to use Ant Dot. Because I know Edgar's going to kill everything in one hit, so. Mm. That's honestly a really nice animation for that spell you're probably going to use three times in the entire playthrough. Yeah. Again, we're very, we're getting very close to this boss. I can feel it in my cockles. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's just such a gross comparison. Don't fucking. Oh my god, don't fucking make fun of my cockles. <laughs> so the tuskers can use gore, which is just a very strong physical attack. I mean, yeah, with those tusks. Yeah, I mean they're called tuskers. It'd be, it'd be a little <laughs> weird if, you know, they didn't use them. Mm. I kind of wish they had more detailed like. Icons. Why, like the portraits here? Yeah. It's it's an old game. I know. Oh yeah, and you can um, and you can see like there's a disparity in the artwork there because like Edgar is wearing blue there and like Locke looks a little different. Mm. All right, Tina, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> More bacteria. Like, Tina's gonna fucking see your manager now. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. I know. I know a couple of the ones. Um, in Japanese, Saban is named Mash. 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 Like M A S H. Yes, Mash. That's gross. Yes, he's a potato. Guy. I love potatoes, but that's a gross name. I mean, is Saban much better? Yes, yeah, so it's <laughs> a lot better. It's like almost like a pirate name, Saban. Mm. I don't know if it's supposed to be Sabin or Sabin, but I've been, probably Sabin. I've been saying Sabin the entire time I've ever played this game, so I'm going to keep doing it. Mm. Someone will correct us if we're wrong. A hater will pop in and be like, hey, suckers. Yeah, seven years from now after we upload this to YouTube, it'll be like, it's fucking Sabin, you cuck lord. Yeah. Um, all right, here we go. Let's just heal up real fucking quick there. Real nice cornfield. Nice fucking cornfield. Nice. Sabin Sabin, right? Guess. My name is Haggis. I love Haggis in the morning. Saban, is he here? Your shadow is early, right? Brilliant! How lucky it is that you've run into me. Boss my time, it's time for Vargas and his eye pose. <laughs> so, you cannot target Vargas until you kill the bears. The bears huh. are the bears are blocking him. But luckily, really we weird. have the natural weakness of bears, uh, crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine, can you imagine, like, seeing someone hunting with a fucking crossbow? Um, you can if you have disabilities. Um, I'm fucking sorry, what? Where, yeah. Where do you fucking buy a crossbow? You have to get it, you can get it at, like, a normal gun or bow store, but you can only hunt in our state. You can only hunt with a crossbow if you have specific disabilities where you can't, like, pull back all the way on the string. I, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> so, and there's um, also like crossbow fishing. I'm not even gonna ask. It's like a small harpoon. Okay, so uh, Vargas can use uh, Gale Cut, which is a strong wind based attack, which hits all the party members, which is why you want to keep some magic on Terra to heal up. Mm. And you kill his Winnie the Pooh monsters. Mm. Uh, then the fight continues on for like, another couple times. I think you have to get him to a certain amount of HP. Yeah. I really love his pants. Yeah, no, he's um he's rocking it. I like his like I like how his hair perfectly matches his pants. Yeah, that's my aesthetic because I have purple hair. Come on, what's the matter? Isn't Vargas the name of a Street Fighter character? I'm not sure. It's something similar. To yeah. That. Oh, we got critical there. Enough! Off with you now! What? You can't just make us fight! Give it up, Vargas! Now you, Sabin, you fucking manly! <laughs> Vargas, <laughs> why'd you do it? You... Oh, hey, Blup! How's it going? Hey, Blup! You just came in at the, pretty much the end of the stream, unfortunately. 
He snubbed me, his only son. No, you were the one. He so this is just a subplot we don't fucking really see anything of. Huh. Apparently, Vargas thought that Duncan, their teacher, his dad, chose Sabin as the successor to him. When actually he chose Vargas and Sabin just never told him that until now. Oh. Uh, Sabin, the master taught you well. This is no avoiding this. Hey, Miss Chain together and fate will send you to your doom. You see, there's something I would have liked that little start to. So he hits us with Doom Fist, which doesn't do a lot of damage, but in 60 seconds we instantly die. So the, the way to beat him is to use Sabin's unique command, Blitz. Blitz is a fighting game command. So <laughs> you, it highlights Sabin, and then by pressing forward, back, forward, A, you do pump. Yay. They're literally Street Fighter inputs. At one point, you have to do, like, quarter circle bullshit. That's hilarious. But the, he already taught you that. If only had been such a rush for power. See, like, they do, like, this fucking action movie shit, and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't, there's no build-up to this. So, yeah, any Blitz you use instantly kills him. If you do, if you grind this out enough, you'll have more than the, just the one Blitz. Mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't matter. I think it doesn't matter which one you use. Mm, yes, brothers, I can confirm. Brothers are reunited. Mm, yes, can also confirm. Being a brother, first I thought he was some bodybuilder straight from his gym. Oof. Bodybuilder. I'll take that as a compliment. In the Japanese version, and by extension, the Game Boy Advance retranslation, she says, I mistook him for one of the bears. <laughs> but he also says, I'll take that as a compliment, so there's like sort of a running joke that Sabin is like a violently large gay man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Love that diversity, man. Think of bear. See, that's why he says think a bear like me could help you fight. Because that lie doesn't make sense without knowing that. Mm. So now we're going to get Sabin to the party. Woo! I like how the dude who um, was literally living in the fucking woods and training in the mountains has shorter hair than the king. <laughs> right? Uh, let me see what Sabin has, actually. Okay, so we actually have three blisses. So see right there, that's a uh, diagonal down... Uh, with a D-pad on a Super Nintendo, um, you can, st I believe if it says a diagonal, you can actually push either direction, so if you do, like, down, left, left, or down, down, left, that'll still work. And then we have X, Y, down, up. They don't tell you what they're, well, I think they do tell you what they're called, so let's look at that part of the screen. But let's show off some blitzes, and then when we find a new place to save, I'm gonna cut it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's do X, Y, down, up. And the targets for blitzes are random, that's the only crappy thing. Mm. Suplex! Well, I feel like his is kind of weirdly annoying to remember, and oh my god! <laughs> yeah, but you can check them. You can check them at any time in the menu there, so mm. it's not too bad actually. And then uh, let's see, down. What did I just say? Down, left, left. Down, down, left. I think. Nope. If you fuck it up, then you just do nothing. Oh, that stinks. Well, yeah. This is like a game you would probably have to write down notes. <laughs> yeah, like back in the day. Mm. And here's the thing. If you get into a pincer formation or Sabin's facing the other way, uh, the controls for the blitzes do not reverse. Oh. So it's not forward, forward. It's left, left. Oh. That's something you gotta remember. I, I fucked up the other blitz. I want to show that off before we finish, actually. Let me just look at it one more time. I always fucking, I always fuck up the diagonal ones. All right, so it's down. Like, I'll try down, left, left. Cause do, you can do diagonals with the D-pad, but like, mm. Mm. Grease Monk. Me. I'm 100% a Grease Monk. <laughs> All right, here we go. Down, left, left. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just try hitting a diagonal, I guess. Well, shit. All right, well, I'm sick of looking at these guys. <laughs> but, you know, you, pummel and suplex are all you need for right now. Yeah, that's good. All right, well, uh, I think now's going to be where we just hit it off there. Um, all right. Sorry that you came in at, like, the very end bluff, but we, we appreciate you coming in. We appreciate anyone coming in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. Yeah, the different characters actually have different tents. They're the same like design, but they're different colors. That's cute. Alright, well, 
thank you everybody for watching yeah and we will see you uh next stream see you on the next round good night everybody good night